Rebecca Grand is escorted by Don and Cindy Grand. Rebecca plans to attend college at Kent State University and major in forensic science. Rebecca would like to thank her parents for putting up with the years of muddy cleats, smelly bags, and busy schedules. She would also like to thank her brothers for getting her interested in soccer and Frank and Coach Maseko for always pushing her to be better. Finally, she would like to thank all the seniors. Even though we've dwindled down over the years, I can still remember playing Gasso with everyone. Katie, I'll always remember you as my favorite freshman, even though you're not a freshman anymore. I can't believe the season's almost over. Don't take any practices or games for granted. They go by so fast. I love all you guys, and I'll miss you a lot. I can't wait to see you guys kick butt next year. Rebecca Graham. Carrie Griffin is escorted by her parents, Susie and Dave, her grandpa Bob, and her sisters Tiffany and Leandra Griffin. Carrie plans to attend college at Kent State University where she will major in middle childhood education and business administration. Carrie would like to thank her parents, siblings, grandparents, and boyfriend for being so supportive and understanding. Carrie would also like to thank her coaches for such a great season. Carrie Griffin. Yay, Wilson. Sarah Harlan. Sarah is accompanied by her parents, Dave and Jennifer Harlan, and her little girl. Over the past four years, she has participated in SCA as a member of the basketball track. Sarah is understanding where to go to college. She plans to be in this she would like to thank her family. I zoomed already. I zoomed. She is filled with gratitude for the wonderful support of the entire soccer family during the countless years. Sarah would also like to thank all of her parents, her past and current coaches, for putting up with her unique characteristics of being outspoken and open, enthusiastic, all-in-all field. Coach, I would like to thank you for all that you have taught me about gaining soccer and always appreciating my sense of humor. Frank, thanks for always keeping it real and helping me with every single fundamental process. She would like, like to give a special shout out to her friend, fellow Minnick squad member, Kiara. It's crazy to think that the duo is about to put their last game together soon. I will always remember finding with you all in all of you. Sarah would also like to thank her fellow seniors for the awesome ride together and great memories shared. It seemed like just yesterday we would practice at the German club and Carrie's dad would make friends after every practice. I am blessed to have such a, such a great group of friends such as you guys. I am excited for the memories to come. She would also like to thank her teammates for one heck of a season with some great laughs and memories to share. She would, she would not let her senior season go any other way. Sarah Hartley. Oh, yeah. Megan Nelson is escorted by her parents, Mike and Robin Nelson, her grandpa Ron, and her sister Amanda. Megan plans to attend Kent State University where she will major in business or nursing. Megan would like to thank her parents for all their support over the past 13 years of having a hollow butt around and still coming to watch games and downpours or even snow. Megan would also like to thank her coaches for teaching her how to work as a team and not get mad at her when laughter is her first response to just about anything. She would like to thank Sarah Harlan for keeping things entertaining when times get tough. The team should give thanks to Megan for letting them pick on her, not to mention any names, <coughs> Kiera and Sarah. That's what made things being fun. Being able to grow as a team this year and being close to one another really made it memorable. There have been too many things to recognize as just one funny, never forgetting moment. Oh, one big memory was our gas team. Oh my, did it used to be rough. Finally, our team became closer. We were actually pretty good and made it to the championship. Meg was not going to let her team get the loser shirt, and sure enough, they won. It definitely had, was a had-to-be-there moment. 
Megan had a lucky sports bra and passed it down to her sister, so her team will hopefully have some lucky sports bra wins. Megan could go on with her stories, but we don't have time for that. Megan would like to say to her team, if you're ever feeling down about yourself or anything in general, you could probably ask anybody to tell you a story about her, and they will tell you something that would bring a smile to your face. Megan's time here is just about done. She has one thing left to say. Go Falcons, and don't forget, as Frank said, find your inner beat. Megan Nelson. Maddie Sollers is escorted by her parents, Ted and Jody Sollers. Maddie is currently looking at colleges where she plans to major, major in cytotechnology, which is the study of human cells to detect signs of cancer or other abnormalities. If the opportunity arises, she would like to continue her soccer career in college. Maddie would like to thank all of her friends and family for always being there and supporting her. She would also like to thank all of her childhood coaches for helping her fall in love with the beautiful game that she has played since age of six when her mom decided she needed to meet new friends and get some exercise. Maddie would also especially like to thank Coach Bill, Coach Lemo, Coach Frank, and Coach Misenko for putting up with her all these years. She also wants to give a, to give a shout out to Allie Jordan. I love taking you to practice every day during the summer and the countless speedy freezes. Never put on your dreams. I'm really going to miss you, Allie. And Maddie would also like to give a shout out to all of her fellow seniors. Thank you for making these past seven years unforgettable. <laughs> Wouldn't have wanted to do it with any other group of us. I'm just sitting and here finally, pretending. She would like to thank all of her teammates for always having her back, no matter what. To all of my Lady Falcons, these four years fly. Play every game like it's your last, because you never know when that time will come. Never let one year define you. Never let a win get in your head or a loss get to your heart. Maddie Solis. Delaney Streeby is escorted by her parents, Monica and Kevin Streeby. Delaney plans to attend college and is currently looking into majors. She would like to thank her parents, sisters, and grandparents for coming to her games and always supporting her on and off the field. She would like to thank the seniors for making this season a special one. And a special shout out to Kiera for always being there for her and making the season a truly great one. Delaney Streeby.